everyone. My name is Lila from the Edison Public Library uh, and today I'm going to be showing you some fun festive crafts for February. Uh, so today we are going to be making heart trees for Valentine's Day. Uh, this makes for a lovely centerpiece for your romantic dinner or whatever type of festivities that you plan on having. Uh, so let's get into it. So for this craft you're going to need uh, some paper and some cardstock. Uh, I'll show you what the difference is between them and uh, when we are creating the craft. Uh, you can use a punch or you can just cut out the hearts by yourself. Uh, I just used a punch for today just to make things a little easier for myself. Uh, and again, if you do want to make it easier for yourself, the punch is the way to go. Uh, you're also going to need a stapler, some tape, and some glue. It doesn't matter what type of glue, uh, whatever you're most comfortable using or whatever you have at home. And finally, uh, some decorative items. You can use whatever you like. I'm planning on using a little bit of glitter, some pom-poms, and some twine. So with all this together, let's get into the craft. Now the first thing you're going to want to do for this craft is get a piece of cardstock. You can use regular paper for this, but it just isn't as sturdy. Uh, so cardstock has a little bit more of a, a solidness to it. Um, so with the cardstock, you are just going to make a little cone. And personally, I like keeping my cone extra sturdy with both a staple and some tape. So I'm gonna staple the bottom of this. And there we go. And take a little bit of tape. And tape up the top. Now with this cone shape, you should be able to stick uh, your future tree on top of any like candlestick or any way you want it. So at the end of the day, it's just gonna look a little bit like this. And now that we have the tree set up, I'm actually gonna trim the bottom just a tiny bit just to make things a little more flat. And you can do the same with yours. Personally, I'm just not very good at making cones. So that's why mine doesn't look as even as it should. There we go. So it doesn't matter if your tree leans a little bit because in all honesty, every tree leans a little bit. So now that we have that all set up, I also have my pre-cut uh, hearts. We are just gonna start gluing from the bottom. Now, if you start from the top, you're not gonna have as much space to do everything that you want. So that's why I usually tell everyone to start from the bottom. So the bottom of the heart is going to be towards the bottom of the tree. I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue and start making my way around. Again, this doesn't need a whole lot of glue. Just a tiny bit should do ya. And I'm gonna keep going with this and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so now that I have that first layer done, uh, what you're gonna do is uh, you are just gonna keep layering them up. So in between the empty spaces, you're gonna put another one just to give it those um, leaf-like effects. Uh, so I'm gonna keep going with this and I'll show you guys what everything once it's done. So now that we're at the top of the tree, uh, we are just going to change up our method a little bit. So instead of putting glue at the very uh, tip of the heart, uh, we are gonna put it more towards uh, the bottom. So that way, the very tip can make up the top of our tree. So I'm just gonna stick that on like that. And as you can see, it just floats at the top kind of like that. Uh, and now you just do that with the rest. And then we'll just leave it dry. I'm going to finish this up and I'll show you guys our product. Okay. 
And again, just remember, you don't need a lot of glue for this. Just dot, dot, not a lot. And there we go. So now that we have all of our hearts on, we're just gonna leave this to dry uh, just so we can get the decorating process uh, all right. So I'll see you guys once it's all dry. Okay, so now that my hearts are all dried on my tree, uh, we can start decorating however we please. So I'm going to start with some pom-poms and some twine, uh, just to make it look like there's a nice garland going around. So I'm going to glue the very end of this and place it in the hole at the top, just to give it a spot to stick to. And now we'll just start twirling this around. And again, this one is completely optional. Uh, you can decorate it however you please, or you can leave it just as is. Personally, I just want to add a few decor items just to add a little oomph to it. There we go. Let's see if I need to space this out a little better. No, I like the way that looks. Okay, so now we're gonna put on some pom-poms. And there we go. So once it's all dry, this makes a lovely piece of decor. Uh, you can put it on top of some candlesticks just to give a nice centerpiece or just leave it on its own. Um, you can also, with the string attached to here, uh, if you get some tiny clothespins, you can attach little notes to it if you like. But at the end of the day, it's just a nice little piece of decor. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.